When it comes to Julia Carpenter and Spider-Woman, since there's already been a Spider-Woman, she calls herself the Arachnid. And yeah, she doesn't want to date Spider-Man. <laughs> Y'all remember the black suit Spider-Man? All of this is because of Spider-Woman's suit, Julia Carpenter. I mean, I can't blame him. She got style. And she's really feisty to where she'll run you over with the car. There are a lot of Spider-type type characters. You got the normal Spider-Woman, then you got Julian Carpenter Spider-Woman. As you might have already predicted, has Spider-like type powers. Everybody seems to be trying to mimic the Spider family or something. They pretty much tell everything I'm literally about to say right here in the laboratories of a mysterious commission. Julia Carpenter was given the powers of a human arachnid to the point where she doesn't even know her own strength, where she can just send you flying a very far distance. This commission lured Julia in and convinced her to take part in their quote unquote experiments. Yeah, they pretty sneaky, ain't they? You see her working out, doing like exercise type stuff because the research would benefit with physical exercise. She was getting ejected throughout the course of a few days. They lied to her saying one of the injections had spider extract in it, but the truth was all of them did. And we were increasing the dosage daily. Freaking lab rats. You stuck me with full of spider venom. You could have killed me. Yeah, you think? And that's pretty much how all of that happened. This panel right here gives you pretty much the origin of her getting injected by the commission. Ended up getting super strength, doing this, lifting cars, showing her athleticism. All the information and history you need about Julia Carpenter's Spider-Woman here. Pretty unique Spider-type character. Even when she first got her power, she accidentally like punched her hand with all of this force. The thing that separates her from the other Spider-People is that she has the standard super strength, super durability, and etc. But she also has psionic webbing, something other Spiders don't necessarily have. Of course, she can wall crawl. Her stickiness is so crazy she can hold heavy stuff while still sticking with her feet. And just straight up psionic energy blast. Yeah, so something I say in all my spider type character videos. Make sure you check out my other Spider-Man videos to really get an understanding of a benchmark of where the spider family people range. That's where Julia Carpenter should be as well. Not to mention, she's one of those characters to evolve and go through a fair share of character evolutions. How she was Spider-Woman and even became the Madam Web, which I'm going to get to later on in this vid. But when it comes to her strength as a Spider-Woman, she obviously has strong legs to where she can jump far distances. Some even thought she was She-Hulk. Look how she can jump just straight into the air this high. Ginormous boulders this big. Gotta be at least over 10 tons at least. And she can sling it. It doesn't seem like that's nowhere near her max when it comes to her power and physical. She has no problem suplexing you like Man Bull gets slammed on the ground. She lifts in cars is pretty much nothing to spider tier characters. Strong enough to pick up and toss Absorbing Man. Even tossing his wrecking ball. Metal machinery she just rips apart and throws it after ripping it apart. Uses a tree as a club. <laughs> Just because you're physically bigger doesn't mean you're in the same strength class. Get tossed. Like lifting a grown man over her head is nothing to her. Body slams or just rips off the doors or simply rips the jail cell bar or simply lifts the rear end of a car. Her super strength allows her to strike really hard. Even KOing beings like Black Knight with a punch or she can physically pry open an elevator door. KO a disguised mystique. She got KO'd in this occasion, but she dazed Spider-Man with her punch steel. Not afraid to use crushed brick as a weapon against you, like against the Wrecker here. Even bigger beings she can beat with a couple hits. She's also strong enough to kick really hard or just one shot knock you out with a chop. Her and Wolverine break through brick wall. When she was mind control, she just simply one shot knocked out a raptor. Her punches can send you flying. She got amplified again. This is part of the reason why she's so strong. She got injected. Had a crazy reaction. Part of this is the evolution of her transforming into the actual Madam Web. She can break free from restraints. Chairs that are drilled into the floor. She can just rip it out with her raw strength because she's that strong. Don't sleep on her strength. She can just sling you. Kree soldiers get curb stomped. Her punching power can punch down thick metal doors. Physical psychic illusions much larger than her. She can still send them flying with her strength. Even punches powerhouse tears like Miss Marvel and get a little stunned. Drew blood from Miss Marvel here. And even kicked Wonder Man this hard. When it comes to her fighting ability, her strength helps her out a lot. But she also mixes it into her fighting skills with her strength. This is the reason why she's able to do pretty good against the Wrecking Crew. Multiple members at the same time. You can see the way she punches it implies skill. You see the way she kicks in this occasion implied skills too with her strength. The way she tackles Black Knight here, the way her legs. You guys know the Black Panther villain? Ulysses Claw? Well, let's say she actually fought this same guy as well. When it comes to Giant Man type characters, Spider characters can hang with them despite their size difference to really show how strong they are. When Clint Barton had, when he was Goliath, even though he wasn't that gigantically big compared to her here, still able to hang in there. On this occasion, Clint Barton was stronger than usual. She even goes as far as saying... She's fighting outside her weight class. They was trying to find out who's stronger or whatever in this particular fun occasion. She says her side webs makes up the difference. 
Something I haven't really got on this video yet, but just hold on. She's smart enough to take on the Lethal Legion. So yeah, she has some combat experience, especially hanging out with the Avengers and stuff. Mutated beings with six arms. Just a normal day being a spider type character. She fights, of course. Armed soldiers get blitzed. Mercenaries get curb stomped, get slung on this boat. One of her best displays of power or strength or skill is when she fought against a being that was given the West Coast Avengers some issues. This was a very tough fight. Mandarins. Troops were overwhelming. Super soldier tears like U.S. agent. But when Julia shows up, it seems to turn the tide. She catches this guy's scythe mid-flight, then one-shots you. A good way to understand Julia's strength is to hear her opinion about certain things, like in this case with Mandarin's forces. They even go as far as saying 50 of them. How do you think that would fit? She says, seems fine with me. Letting you know she's confident about that's nothing to her. These open palm strikes showing her skill. Takes on spider type people like Craven the Hunter. I said it before and I say it again. Whatever the other spider characters can do, this one should be able to do when it comes to physicals. Said this a million times, but I don't see any reason on why she shouldn't be able to do similar things to this. She already proved herself fighting spider family members anyway. Watching this video in conjunction with my Peter Parker and other symbiote type tier venom videos should help help you get a better understanding of her power as well. Even though she has some unique differences when it comes to strength, they have similarities. But you know, all of the spider people don't have the same stuff like miles has been on blast julia carpenter has psionic webs you know stuff like that i haven't really gotten to her new madam web abilities like that when she became the new madam web yeah the old one yeah she became the new madam web she immediately knew how to use her abilities or immediately knew what she had to do or be imagine being hyper woke but you actually know what you're talking about seeing past and in the future and not only that, but prepare the characters for what's to come. So some of the tragic histories don't come to pass. Like she knows the history and everything of the characters like the Goblin. She can see when the future is constantly changing, the more something tragic. The scary part is that she can use her precognition in combat. Like, how do you fight somebody that already knows they won and how they won? Astro projects. Plenty of times, occasionally with Spider-Man. Monitor Spider-Man events. Those abilities should not be brushed over. They're really a big deal for her and they change the game or how you should look and respect her. When she became his Madam Web, you know, the same Madam Web you saw in the Spider-Man the Animated Series, Madam Web does not always have to be old like this, just for those that are curious. As Madam Web, she can astral project, can see why you're invisible. Did I mention as Madam Web, she's technically, she can't actually see, but she's still able to compete with Spider-Man who's being trained by Shang-Chi. As Madam Web, she can see the freaking future. Yeah. To the point she can even finish Shung chis sentences. Knows whether or not Spider-Man would actually show up. Thanks to the web of life. She can also see into someone's past. To see what they go through. She knows the consequences of your action if you are to make a certain choice. So choose wisely on what you decide to do. She can also see a dangerous event far in the future. And she can prepare you for it. Just to give you a heads up. Her cyanic webs for example. One can argue it's like her version of being able to make constructs or Green Lantern type constructs. But a spider character right? create webs just by thinking of them it took time and concentration at least she doesn't have to make them like the other spiders do she's designing webs against the hulk but she has to constantly concentrate to even restrain them for a bit but the hulk's probably gonna gonna eventually break out same with beings like ulysses claw is she loves making web psionic traps i mean she did it to black knight not afraid to halt the police with it. She does it to restrain wrecking crew lore type folk. She can grind the rails like a skateboarder with her own webs by sliding on her own webs. And these psionic constructs can't be burned by fire. Very handy holding back mobs. Shields from big attacks. Used in conjunction helping the Avengers fight in this big Kree century. Can slow your fall down with these webs. Bind Ultron bots. Absorb the sound blast from Ulysses' claw. Holding off a bunch of demons with a psionic web, in this occasion with Scarlet Witch. Even when her hands are bound, in this occasion with the Hell Lord type top tier characters, she can still conjure it up even when her hands are bound like this. Messing up a boat with her psionic web. Wrap you up if I'm done finished. They can use these to web sling, I guess. Yeah, just like other spider characters can web sling. Psionic web stop Quicksilver mid run. Shields herself from the wrecking crew attacks with her web, psionic. Her psionic webbing is intriguing because it looks like just straight blast, but she can hold it in a way to where she can kind of hold you down. She does this in older comics like slowing down a speeding car to where she doesn't even have to necessarily do it. Even can use it to shield herself against a missile, like on some Invisible Woman type stuff. Same with stopping enormous chunks of debris. I'm talking about a lot of debris, thanks to Psychic Web. She used it again, catching this lot, a lot of monsters, and even a helicopter with her psychic web. Same with a crashing airplane with her psychic web. 
It shows how much her psychic webs can hold, respect it. This is also the occasion of earlier when I showed her ripping off doors. These psychic webs come in handy when you are an annoying flying enemy. Thanks to these webs, she can scan areas psychically. They're kind of hexy, being able to contain somebody made of pure energy. Thanks to using the right wavelength. Tough character to fight. It's a very versatile method for ranged attacks, like you can see Sling in this occasion. Like Tripping Ultron here. A lot of area of effects you can produce with it on a large area. Trip up some mutants with their web. Speed, something Spider Family members have a lot of. She's able to dodge multiple hits from powerhouses like Wonder Man. Completely avoids getting shot. They tried to outshoot her with a quick draw. She outsped them and blast them. Fast enough to combat teleportation. Just because you can teleport doesn't mean she can't react to you. Saves beings in time before they get shot by bullets. Fast enough to blind the shooter before they can react. Flurry of bullets can't hit her once. She's one of those characters that had her fair share of illusions. How do you like her? Do you like her in her Spider Woman days? Or do you like when she evolved and became like a Madam Web and having like a helpful hand in looking over the spider people and stuff? Would you like her the best? I like her character progression pretty good. I think her spider outfit is mad drippy though. Respect Julia Carpenter's power and abilities, but at the same time, gotta give a shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel. Helps out a lot, believe it or not.